Okay, so our next arm balance is Galavasana, otherwise known as Flan Pigeon. Flan. Flan Pigeon. So, of course, Pigeon would be a great warm up for Galavasana. So, Tamara will first demonstrate Galavasana. Beautiful. Nice. And coming down. So, a couple key points for Galavasana, of course, the hands are at shoulder width apart, arms are externally rotated, so again, the triceps are drawing towards each other, internally rotating at the forearm, so you have the first knuckle down to the mat, um, thigh or palm rooted into the earth. And then the next key point, so start to come into your Galavasana. So bringing the, um, she has her left knee above, or her left ankle above her right knee. And then you start to squat down just a little bit, coming into like a figure four. And then bringing the hands to the mat so you can kind of lean forward, come up onto the toes maybe, the heel can come up off the mat. And, and then you can turn this way here for just a moment. So one key point is for this foot to wrap around and grab on. It's almost like a monkey hand. So the toes wrap around and grab on to the shoulder and bringing the foot as high up towards the shoulder as you're comfortable with. And then you start to lean forward, picking up the foot. You can even allow the foot to float there for a little while and then eventually straightening the leg and the toes start to reach up towards the sky. And then her knee of her left leg is high above the uh, shoulder as well. Okay, so of course, before you start your Galavasana, you might want to warm up with, especially with a pigeon and some hamstring openers and wrist warm ups. So maybe like down dog in a plank a few times, warming up your wrists, and a few chaturangas, and of course, a few pigeons to open up the hips because it is a huge hip opener. That's why we sometimes also call it flying um, pigeon. Um, so if the hips are a little bit tight, we need to be extra careful because we don't want to drop down the hands to the mat because that could tweak out the knee or injure the hip as well. So using blocks can be a great way to start bringing your hands to the blocks. So we have our blocks right here. I would recommend having the blocks flat so that they're not too topply. There you have more of a surface here. Cork blocks. Cork blocks are awesome because they're a little stiffer, a little stronger. And then, so come up to a standing first. Start to bend the knee slightly. And so if her hip was tight, she would probably only be right about here or even up a little bit higher. And then here she can start to reach for the blocks. You can even lift the heel up off the mat a little bit, come up onto the toes as you lean forward a touch to bring the hands a little closer to the blocks. But of course, please, please, please don't go beyond your point to where if the hips are a little bit too tight for this, that you're gonna pull a hip muscle or pull a knee muscle or anything else in your knee. And then here, we can start to lean forward slightly and then maybe just lift up the grounded foot. Just pop it up a little bit and then let it back down just do a little lift up maybe three or four or six times just to start to build the strength. Great. Thank you. And then coming down. And then one other little prop we can use is a bolster or a pillow. So we will grab a bolster here, put it right here in front. You want it a few feet in front so that There'll be a tendency for the head to kind of lean forward, for the whole torso to lean forward. Maybe we scoot back a little bit more. And then we can come into our Galavasana from here as well. So the bolster's there just for comfort in case lean a little too much forward, you can kind of crash onto your pillow instead of onto a hardwood floor. Um, one key point is, can you come down to a sit real quick? Kind of face this way. 
print. So, and then give me this foot. Hmm. So this part of the ankle wraps around the shoulder as the toes also curl back and the toes also grab onto the shoulder. <laughs> 